Hi YouTube family, I'm so glad that you could join me today for my skincare favorites that I'm loving right now. I was going to do hair and skincare together, but I found that I had too many products to talk about and the video would be way too long. So I'm gonna split this into a uh, part one and part two, basically hair and skincare. But we're gonna start with skincare today. But if you're new to my channel and you haven't been here before, I am so glad that you're here with us. I hope that you consider subscribing. And if you're already one of my subscribers, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me. So let's get into the video so that you can see what I've been loving right now for skincare. I will say that not everything in here is at a drugstore price because when it comes to skincare, I personally like to splurge because my skincare, I feel like is the basis for everything that's good. And when I say that, I mean that if I want good makeup, I gotta have good skincare because skincare is the basis or your skin is the basis for what you need to have beautiful makeup later on. Also, I'm not going to cover all the bases as far as skincare. Like I don't have a cleanser in here and I don't have a final moisturizer or sunscreen in here. These are just things that I've picked out that for the past couple months, past few months, they've really been things that I have always reached for when I've done my skincare. So I hope that you enjoy that. Let's start out with something that I've told you about over and over again, and I really want to reiterate how great this is. This is from Suki Yakasuhara, and this is their Urea Moisture Lotion. Now it's a liquid. This one is empty, you guys. I have a new one um, that I'm using, but I just brought the empty in here. First of all, a lot of people have the misconception that urea comes from urine. It is the, a product of natural urine in mammals. Okay, just let's get that out of the way. But the urea that they use for skincare is manufactured in a lab, so it is not anything to do with actual urine. Urea is actually a super hyper moisturizing product, and it is also a gentle exfoliating product if you get it in the right percentage. And I believe this has around 5%, maybe just a little bit more, somewhere in there. And that's really kind of the sweet spot where you get the exfoliating and the moisturizing. The other nice thing about this is that not only can you use this all over your face, you can put this up under your eyes and on your eyelids, around your lips without any irritation whatsoever. And it moisturizes so well. I will use this like I am right now as my actual moisturizer instead of putting a cream on top because it's so hot and I get so sweaty and right now I'm having hot flashes. So I definitely want something a little bit lighter. I actually use this as my second step in the morning um, and it just keeps, and it just holds the moisture so good and it is water-like. So this you can find on Amazon. All of these products, I'm gonna make sure that I have a link for them down below for you guys. Just so you know, this is probably my favorite thing that I've ever run across and I owe that to Pin Pen Smith Skincare Penny from that channel, and she's so good about it. While we're on the topic of Sukiyaka Suhada, they do have three products on Amazon. This is their face cream. This is their eye cream. I haven't tried their face cream. I'm going to try it, but this is the eye cream, and it is every bit as wonderful a product as the, the Urea Moisture Lotion. It's just so emollient, and it will keep your eye, your under eyes, hydrated for all day long. And that is really saying something when you do have crepey skin underneath your eyes and you need that to be plumped up so that your concealer looks good. So this is a cream that I won't be without. I think this is my third or fourth tube. This big, huge tube will last you anywhere from six plus months. I usually get about, I think about nine months out of this. So this is an absolute that I will not be without, period. I'm also gonna talk to you about X-Lash. You guys, I've put this on every social media platform that I've had. I've done videos about it before, but I can't rave enough about it. This is a lash growth formula that I originally was sent by the company, but I have since repurchased it myself. This tube is not cheap. However, this tube will last me again nine months. And for a lash growth formula, I have never found one. And I tried Rapid Lash, I tried um, Grande, Grande Lash, I tried um, the Rimmel one. I've tried so many of them that really didn't give me the kind of results that this does, but wow. And the other thing about it is that you only have to use it once a day, so you don't have to worry about it in the morning. I use it at night. I paint it on my upper lash line and my bottom lash line, and I am really just so pleased. I don't have to wear false eyelashes. My own eyelashes suffice. Now, I will tell you that you won't notice anything until about the fourth through the sixth week of using this, and then all of a sudden you're gonna go, 
Wow, my eyelashes look fantastic. So I want you to remember that this is a long-term product. Yes, if you stop using it, it will stop being effective, just like anything else that we do. So keep using it and you'll see those beautiful lashes because I have seen some fantastic results that I never thought I'd see from my lashes. Next up is the Buffet from The Ordinary. I know that you guys have heard everybody talk about this, but you guys, this is such a good, peptide complex for your skin. It has so many good things in it that help the skin. And what's nice about it is you have it all together in one instead of having to use different serums. I've used this since it came out. I don't know how long has it been, three years or more since The Ordinary actually la launched their line. And it was not long after that that Wayne Goss turned me on to it. And I was actually ordering it from London before you could even order it from DCM.com. I do feel like it's made a difference in my skin tone tone, my skin texture. I really love it and I would very much recommend it. Now, one of the things that absolutely makes a difference in my skin. I wanted to briefly talk to you about, this is from Pixie, this is their vitamin C tonic. They sent me a whole entire vitamin C line and I have been testing out something else so I'm not able to do that. However, I did pull this out and put it into my morning rotation. This I use, uh, the vitamin C I use on my skin before I do anything else. I'll use this and then I'll use the Sukiyaka Suhara Urea Lotion on top of it. But this gives my skin just a burst of vitamin C in the morning while being gentle enough that it doesn't cause any irritation or anything. You know, sometimes vitamin C can be a little bit aggressive on our skin. And so this has really been a really good good one and I have really been enjoying it. And I feel like it's doing its job, which is brightening. And that is really what we want to have as our skin gets older and it gets a little sallow, gets a little bit discolored. We wanna have that brightness. So I really have been enjoying this one a lot. Also from The Ordinary, I don't want to go away from this video without mentioning the glycolic acid 7% toning solution. At night, this is what I use as my toner and I do love it because using the Retin-A causes you to have those flakes, but this will help keep them at bay. This I have been using this summer instead of using like the BHA AHA peel. I don't find that I really need that that much. I use a little bit of a granular peel Peel, um, from philosophy um, in the shower occasionally but this right here has just been keeping my skin you know buffed and looking beautiful and sloughing off all that old dead skin and again this is like my fourth or fifth bottle I've been using this since it came out and I absolutely love it for being just a very very mild exfoliation on your face. Something that I have mentioned before that I've been using in place of any other moisturizer at night or your you know your last step um, I was using oils for a while, but right now I'm just trying to use this up and it just seems to be giving me such a wonderful hydration in the morning after I wake up is, is the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Moisturizing Glow Mask. This is something that you put on. It's not a mask that you wipe off or that you wash off. You actually put it on. It's a, you know, something that you sleep with on and it has this most wonderful rose smell i absolutely love the smell of it and i'm almost to the end of the bottle here or the end of the tube and i've got to decide whether or not i want to repurchase it because it is a little expensive but oh my gosh it's lasted me a really long time and it's really really effective on moisturizing locking in all those serums and keeping them all in so they can do their job this is your last step really does take your hydration to a net to another level but a tiny bit goes a long way so i can put like the size of a dime and i can do everything which is my face my neck my decollete and my hands as far up as it will go so i i just have enjoyed this i don't think it has any anti-aging properties in it but what i do think is this will lock in everything and help the other anti-aging that you put on your face to stay on all night and you just wake up and your skin feels so plump and moisturized in the morning and i really like it okay i wanted to also share with you this right here this is a super mask um this says uh a mask with soothing sentinella asiatica 
I don't know if that is the right way to say that or not, but this is from e.l.f. This is a, a mask that you do put on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you wipe it off. And this is a mask that you use when your skin is very irritated. Now, sometimes I do get too aggressive with either washing my face or using too much exfoliant or using too much um, Retin-A and my face will scream at me and say, you know, I'm, you know, I'm very, very irritated today. So this has been really good as far as soothing and I really have enjoyed it. Um, you just really take it easy with it. I mean, you can slather it if you want to. That's not what I mean. I mean, don't rub after it. Just really, you know, be very gentle with your skin afterwards. And I actually just rinse it off with kind of tepid water, very almost on the cool side of water. Don't use a rag to wipe it off or any other cleansers to get it off. Just very gentle. And then I just pat my face dry afterwards. And I have found that this is really calming and very soothing to the skin. So I really have been enjoying that one. Also from DCM.com from NIOD. This is the fractionated eye contour concentrate. This little baby is expensive. However, you guys, I won't be without this. I really do enjoy this. This is a serum for your eyes. This is what I put on before I do anything else is I put this right underneath my eyes and use it there. Now I do feel that this is really helping my eyes. I have very crepey eyes. I've noticed in the past little while that my eyelids are starting to sag a little bit. So I do notice all of those things, especially around the crow's feet. I even have started to notice a little bit right here on the lift of the brow. So I really have been enjoying this as far as being a treatment for your eyes this isn't something that is you know just to hydrate this is really a treatment and the the ingredients that it has in here really are meant for that delicate skin under the eyes and for the eyelids and I want you guys to know that don't feel like you can't put stuff on your eyelids anything that you can put under your eyes you can put on your eyelids I actually use this on my top lip as well and I feel like it's done more for my top lip almost than it has even done for my eyelids so either way it's a really great product it has really helped the texture of my skin there in both places underneath the eye and on the eyelid and I really have enjoyed having that okay last thing is the three oils that I use from The Ordinary that I absolutely love. This one, let's see, this one right here is the bee oil. The bee oil is a combination of different oils that they brought together and it just is such a good oil. It smells like a vitamin-y smell, which to me, I like because that smell tells me that there's really good ingredients in there and that you have ingredients that are really active and are working. You know, when you smell a vitamin, you might not like the smell of it, but you know that when you swallow that vitamin, it's gonna do something good for your body. So I really have been enjoying that. The other two are my argon oil and my marula oil. Now, Drunk Elephant has a marula oil. This is the same exact thing. And then the argon oil, of course, Josie Mirren's argon oil, she made that famous, but I have both of them at a fraction of the cost of the other two. And I love using the argon oil as a mask on, the, on my split ends. And I also love using it on my cuticles. It makes my fingernails grow so good. Of course, I attribute that to the collagen I take and a few other things as well. But um, it really does help the growth of your nails to use it on your cuticle and give your cuticle a good rub. That's part of my skincare routine at night as well, is giving my cuticles a good rub with a good oil. And so I will either use the argon or the marula. The marula is such a beautiful face oil though. In, this, in the winter when my skin is super parched, I will use that. When I was in the hospital, I used it to help my skin, you know, look a little bit alive. You can use either one of these on your face, hair, nails, anywhere that you have super dry skin. And what's nice about it is if you use these and you use them up, you're not out that much as compared to using some of the other more expensive brands. And they're just exactly the same product and, and manufactured with that cold pressed 
um, organic factor in there. So I really do love those. Okay, you guys, that was it for my skincare loves. I hope that you did enjoy it. I enjoy bringing you these kinds of videos. Do you guys have a specific skincare product that you would like to tell me about that has really been a game changer for you and your skin? I'd love to hear about that. Let me know that in the comment section below. I hope that you guys are all doing well. I will see you in part two of this video where I go over my favorite hair care that I have been using lately and you guys all take care of yourselves have a lovely day you are the best part of my day and I love you very much bye bye